Dang. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ronnie Crazy here, and we're back with some relaxing voice of cards, the Forsaken Maiden gameplay. Yes, yes, more yes, and a fourth yes, just for good measure. Let's get into it. I love this game so far. Again, it's such a just step in a different direction, and it's just relaxing and beautiful and ah oh, i can't get enough of it and i'm gonna be very sad when it's over i'll tell you right now but let's enjoy it while we've got it and who knows maybe we'll play the uh the, the one that came out before this uh because this is a this isn't like a sequel this is just a a new story in the in the series i'll call it very, very good. And we're only two hours into the game. We really gotta start putting putting a hurting onto this thing. Alright? Let's do it. Hope you guys enjoy the, the new lighting that I have going on in my room. I really need to get some some more background stuff like this tapestry back here. I'd like to do my whole wall so you guys don't see any of this wood paneling. All right, let's start. Okay, hold up. Uh, you have to... Come on, come on, I don't... Wait. This must be a Stila of the Isle's Guardian Spirit. Okay. So there's more than one of those things. All right, should we just explore the rest of the island before we go to the, um... The cave? Hmm. Well, let's do Blizzard and see what that looks like. The animations in this game are just, ah, oh, muy, muy caliente. Maidens and their attendants can join their powers and use link skills together. Really? If one of them is KO'd, paralyzed, frozen, or sealed, the skill will be temporarily unavailable. They cost more gems than normal skills, so make sure you saved up enough for them to use, or to use them. Yeah, I, I just wasted all of them. Okay. She doesn't. She doesn't attack all, which is like incredible. So let's go with that. Let's go. Did that heal him? It looked like it healed him. Treasure discovered. Oh, middle. Dagnab it. One of these days, we'll make some money on it. Cool. Cool. All right, we're blocked off. We're blocked off. And just like that, we've explored the whole island. Another treasure. We're going middle until we until we luck out. We did it. You've arrived at the Crystal Cave, a dungeon rife with danger awaits within. Adventurers are advised to be at least level 3 and stock up on supplies before or from town before entering. Oh, we're em we're entering. We're going in. We're going so in. The Crystal Cave teems with the stones that give it its name. They say the intermittent echo of water droplets is the sound of more crystals forming. Oh. Your party and Fila have become fast friends on the road to the cave. Though Laddie seems somewhat nervous to finally have a female friend her age, she looks happy nonetheless. I can understand that. The loose-lipped Fila tells you all sorts of details about her life, including the fact that she and Hyde are lovers. Whoa! Hyde seems on edge about her blasé divulgences. You give him a pat on the shoulder, quietly sympathizing with him. Dang, she's like, we are lovers. What is up? Scour the crystal cave for hidden treasure. All right. Oh, dang. One step in. Dang it. I'm telling you, it never fails. Clean your glasses. They're going to get more dirty before they get cleaner. Come on! I got 
gonna like look up and make sure I don't have any smudges. Like, how the heck does something like that? I gotta apply like massive amounts of pressure to get that off of there. I don't understand. Multiply gold earned from victory by two. Ooh, a happenstance card. Sorry. Sorry. Yup. Blizzard it up. Oh, it's regular enemies. Shoot. What a hit. What a hit. Easy, easy battle. I think we're going to have a pretty easy time here. Because our team is out here. Nobody's gotten levels. I wonder if it distributes the XP based on the number of people in the party. Let's let's see. Uh, 882, zero. Oh, they don't level. Oh, they have zero XP to level. I see. Okay, 182 and 190 to level. Let's see how it distributes it. 182 and 190. All right, so it's 46 XP. Let's see what we got. No, it's definitely giving us the full amount each person. That's good. You can see what looks like a chest within the shadows on the opposite bank. Unfortunately, you can't cross over with the water raging as it is. Okay. Knocking on my door. a loudy. Oh, she killed them both. I didn't even see. Boom. Boom. Her speed went up. Nice. Giant you boulder. You across a large boulder. You aren't sure where it fell from, but some of it is submerged in the waterway and is obstructing the uh, water's flow. What will we do? Push it with all your might. The five of you rally together. Then push. And... I like that. That was good. Hey. The boulder sinks into the water, stopping its flow completely. It looks like you have a new path to tread now. Sweet, that's cool. Fila hugs Hyde in her excitement. He blushes in embarrassment and reminds her that others are watching. Come on. At their public display of affection, Laddie covers her face with her hands, but peeks at them through her fingers. Oh, Lord Almighty. Why everybody gotta be so cute? Ah! So I think that's where we got to go. So we're going to go back down because it said there, we saw a chest across the water. Treasure discovered. We'll go right this time. Yay! Let's go! All right. What's in it? Ooh! That's worth it. 500 gold? That's worth it. Oh, this is so unfortunate. My team is the worst! That was overkill, laddie. That was overkill, young lady. We gotta be getting close to leveling. We gotta be. Enter Crystal Cave Depths? Yes. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Hey, give me it. Just as you're about oh. to open the chest, Fila interjects. I didn't tell you, but they say the treasure is protected by the pirate's ghost, she admits with a tremble in her voice. Laddie's face goes pale, 
and she squeezes Lack in her arms. The poor thing looks like it's in pain. I'm just kidding, Fila says cheerfully. But then, who goes there? A oh, voice shoot. echoes through the cavern. My treasure, mine. You sense a dangerous aura in the shadow of the chest and immediately prepare for battle. Well, I wasn't prepared for battle. I was prepared to explore. 90. They have, they, okay, every turn. Add two water damage dealt by allies and enemies, okay. Let's see what we can do here. He's very resistant to the lightning. Oh, let's, uh, yeah, let's stack up gems. Yeah, let's stack gems up. Ow. Oh, roll the one. Okay, give a little healy. Let's do the mysterious heart. Right. Cards afflicted with elemental res down take plus five damage from attacks of the specified element. Nice. Let's try and get his damage down. Come on, come on. No! Dang. Oh! That's big pain. Oh, hide. I got to try and keep him up. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. The 10 dark. No, let's try and bring his damage down again. All right. Oh, you can only have one at a time, huh? Whoa. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on! We're having a hard time here. Oh my god! Hyde is taking the beat down. Okay, heal him. We should be able to finish him off this turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A critical heal. Nice. Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, he's resistant to freeze. Okay, they will not be afflicted by those ailments regardless of what you roll. Okay. Oh, don't, don't hit Fila. Ah! Give him the air thrust. Roll something high. Four is good. Easy. Not easy, but <laughs> easy, you know? 
you know? Woo! Level 10, baby! Attack and HP up. You learn Grand Slice. Deal damage to all enemies. Level 10 as well. Refresh. Cure target of all status ailments except KO. Nice. That's a fight right there, baby. After the battle, you finally reach what looks to be pirate treasure. Your hearts race in anticipation as you open the chest to find hundreds of colorful seashells filling it to the brim. The room falls quiet as everyone stares at the chest with abject dejection, realizing the stories were no more than rumor. After a Oof. long moment of sulking, you feel Laddie tug on your sleeve. She points to the rocky wall behind the chest. Upon closer Ooh. inspection, you realize that there's a crevice just wide enough for a person to squeeze through. Really? Keep exploring. Each par character in your party can set up to five types of skills. Open the menu, select setup, and then skills to choose and set the skills your party members can use in battle. Set up your skills? Yes, since apparently we have more than five now. Oh, he has five. Maybe she has, maybe she has six? Yeah, there it is. Um... Add value of roll to target's attack for three turns. Um, no, we'll do we'll do refresh. There, uh, actually, yeah, there. That'll work. What we got? What we got? You discover a chest in the cavern depths. Your allies rummage through its contents, but don't find anything resembling pirate treasure. Okay. Oh, it's just empty. Tight. Whoa! That was cool, man. A droplet of water falls. Once the ripples upon the surface still, it feels as though time stops. All falls quiet. A beautiful underground lake, its waters glimmering like crystal, stretches out before you in the cave's depths. Your collective breaths are taken away as you gaze upon the dazzling sight. The lake's light reflects in Fila's eyes and she gently takes Hyde's hand in hers. I'm so happy we can see this together, she whispers. Though you had come to the cave in search of treasure, I want that. you found something far more precious. You return to Coveton, basking in the afterglow of such a marvelous discovery. But there were, there were some unturned cards. No! Sailed the seas and saw wondrous sights with our adventurous azure ally. Laddie gained memories of friendship. Nice. You arrive back at Coveton safe and sound. Ta-da, Fila says suddenly, pulling a crystal out of her pocket. Ah. Apparently, she took it from the cave so that Hyde could make them matching couples charms. With a sigh, her attendant agrees and says he will need to borrow the proper tools from the accessory shop. Head to the accessory shop? Accessory shop in Coat. An event. An air of gloom hangs over one corner of the village. It would seem someone has died. Oh no. Asking a nearby fellow what happened. He explains a woman was attacked and killed by oh. monsters outside the village. Talk is, the woman was wearing perfume from a foreign land that drew the monsters to her. They only discovered it after the fact, 
but that perfume was actually some sort of juju expressly for attracting monsters. You recall the woman to whom no. you delivered the parcel you picked up. I should have better warned her, you think regrettably. Laddie gently places a hand to your back. You say a prayer for the woman's repose and quietly take your leave. That hurt me more than it should. Oh my gosh. Here to stay the night, Ooh. the innkeeper asks the moment you set foot in the inn. That, that hurt. Not worth the money that we got from that. That hurt. Wow. Hyde asks you to wait outside while he enters the shop. Fila strikes up a conversation with Laddie while awaiting the other's return. The endless stream of words makes you wonder when the maiden has time to breathe. <laughs> I just love the face he makes when crafting amulets. He always complains, but still goes along with whatever I say. All Fila seems to talk about is Hyde. Nevertheless, she seems to have found an eager listener in Laddie, who nods with an elated smile. Hyde returns. Completed couple's charms in hand. Hey. The crystal charms look as impressive as any you would find in a shop. But Hyde's expression is grim. Apparently, he isn't as impressed wow. by his handiwork as the rest of you. Ah, self-critical, of course. Fila takes one of the charms with a forlorn smile. I'll wear it to the maiden's ritual, she says quietly. Can't help wondering why she looks sad. What do you say? Will you be doing the maiden's ritual? If you're breaking up with Hyde, I'm single. Oh! Hearing the carefree no. woman speak of the goal of your journey, you can't help but ask for more information. Fila explains that she'll be conducting the maiden's ritual soon. You wonder if it's all right for them to be gallivanting around like this considering how important the ritual is to protecting the island. Mm -hmm. As promised, I'll let you borrow the relic, Fila says, changing the subject. But it's far too important for me to just hand it over to you. So, we're coming with, she smiles. Oh. Though it's obvious she's just looking to have some fun, you have no choice but to accept the new term. Okay. With the maiden's relic finally secured, you and your unexpected new allies make for the spire. Board your ship at the pier in Northern Coton. Nice. I thought we were gonna lose them. Can they level up now? No. I mean, it looks like we can. We could stand to um, lose some speed on Laddie. Let's get her defense up. That's fine. Okay. That way we're back up to our normal defense. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're down to a thousand gold. Gosh, I cannot believe that lady died. I feel so bad. Oh, man. That's weighing on me. Weighing on me. You grin knowing full well that it is, and prepare for departure. Is that sail? You know it, baby. You know it. You'll likely come and go from Omega Isle quite often during your travels. By jumping, you'll be able to cross the vast seas in the blink of an eye. Use the right stick to choose the direction you want to jump, then press V. Make your way north of South Isle to the Spirit Shire on Omega Isle. So I could jump here? Wow, just like you that. You arrive back on Omega Isle. It's just as you left it, quiet and still, as if awaiting its inevitable destruction. 
how gloomy Fila mm. remarks. But her softly spoken words are swept away by the sea breeze. Enter? Yes. Yes. Make your way to the altar on the second floor. You stand before the maiden's altar again and ask Lack what you need to do here. Lack explains that Laddie couldn't become a maiden because of a problem in her heart. How would you even begin to solve a problem in someone's heart, you wonder, scratching your head in thought? Just as Lack begins to cast a mysterious spell. Kokoro Kokoriko Rantaratan. As if responding to the spell, the altar begins to glow. Look at Lack. Now, go into the light, Lack commands. You do as you're told, having no choice but to obey the self-proclaimed spirit. Okay. Into the light we go. Oh. When you come to, you realize that you must have fainted after being swallowed by the light. You gradually get your bearings, and your field of vision clears. You're in the spirit spire, or at least you're supposed to be. Something about it strikes you as strange. What happened, you ask Lack? Go outside and you'll see, it replies. Oh. Exit the spirit shire and investigate what happened outside. Well. You all must forgive me. Again, it's a disease. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. It's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Yeah. Fully uncovered, baby. Easy. Once outside, oh. you find yourselves in the heart's domain, the birthplace of human emotions. But is it light or darkness at its core? Weird. You stand in awe of the world before you. It's entirely black, as if someone took a brush and filled it from corner to corner with dark paint. Can't help but wonder, what is this, this place? This is Laddie's heart's domain, oh. Lack says. Lack explains that it's a dream world created by her feelings. You can't believe that this is what's inside Laddie. Sweet, kind Laddie, who wears her heart on her sleeve. Laddie's gaze falls to the floor, perhaps in shock at seeing what's inside of her. Lack points south of the spire. Whatever is eating away at her heart is in that village, it says. Since Lack seems to know the lay of the land, you decide that following its advice is for the best. Head to the village south of the Spirit's Shire. Spire. <laughs> this place is seriously weird, huh? A stela carved in the Spirit's image. What's it doing here? I didn't really mean to, uh... Oh, gosh. 
Don't tell me these are going to be like massively massive enemies. Fight them off. They definitely don't look friendly. Good thing we crit. Nice miss. We needed that miss. Yeah, these enemies are full creep mode. to it though. Oh no. Come on, good one, good one. Yes. No. Come on, roll a three or higher. Oh baby. Dude, I can't believe Tiny Bronco Excellent. missed a crit, too. Oh. All right. <laughs> Her defense is high. A shadow suddenly appears. It gazes at you with eerie yellow eyes and is cloaked in a hostile aura. You have no choice but to fight. I... I do have a choice. Oh, my mic was cutting out. I have a choice! And that choice... is to fight in the next video. <laughs> got you guys that's right i'll see you guys in the next video that'll be tomorrow thank you all so much for watching subscribe like comment and yeah bye